I got there on the finish line. And, oh, you know, they, I think that's a lucid air performance what they have there. And when Peter gets behind the wheel, it's hard to get him out of that car. So I hope they will not go for a test ride outside or something like that, because then I'm really, I'm really alone on that stage and it spooks me a little bit. What are they doing? They're running off of that line. By the way, that is a Lucid Air Dream Edition performance with 1,111 horsepower. That is a power machine. And it is in stellar white. That's my favorite color. And if you're a reservation holder, you can pick one of those colors, black, gold, or stellar white. I love the stellar white one. Here they come. They're not going to, they're going on a test drive. They're coming around. Please applause for our Lucid Dream Edition Stellar White performance. Here it is. Welcome with me, Governor Doug Ducey from Arizona, and our CEO and CTO, Peter Rawlinson. Hi, I'm Peter Rawlinson, and I'm the CEO of Lucid Motors, and I'm here at the AMP-1 factory, our brand new plant in Casa Grande, Arizona. I'm here to check out the latest progress. Peter, welcome to the AMP-1 in Casa Grande. I'm gonna meet with Peter Hochholdinger, our vice president of global manufacturing. So please, come join me, let's check it out together. Peter, here we are in the body shop, the finish line. You can see we have three cars on it. The hang-on line in the front, then here where we finish the bodies and finish the car to perfection. You get the underbody in, you get the shelf in. We're here in framer two. You can see the body here moving into the station. And then they should pick up the body side adders. Right. All fixtured off the robot. Right. So we don't actually have traditional fixturing station. The robots are the fixtures. They've got to come together simultaneously. And on they go and close off the final marriage of second framing station body side. And this is where the monocoque becomes complete. This is fantastic work, Peter. Next level technology. Stage number one, pre-treat and e-code. We have a body coming up there now. It's already through pre-treat. So in pre-treat, what we do, we take the oil out of the body. There's processed oil and things like that. We take that off. And then we get into our dip tanks here, where we have first the zirconium and then the e-code system. It's amazing. The sealer deck. That's where we close all the holes, all the openings we had in the car, so we can have a good NBH car. And we have, of course, as I said, we have to plug up the process holes that we had for the pre-treat system. And then the car moves into an oven that we can cure the seal. Because we don't want to lose any particle of the sealer in our paint pool. Here we have the final result out of the paint shop. What is your favorite color? You guessed it, it's black. Oh, we staged it perfectly for you, great. So what we see here when we go through the booth is we have three phases of 
paint we put on the car. It's the primer, it's the base coat that gives us a color, and then it's the clear coat that protects the layer behind it. So we dial that in perfectly with the airflow, the humidity, the temperature, and we get to a perfect result of this paint here. It looks really good. Here we are in General Assembly. It's a game of parts, and we get all those parts together to the car, and we finally assemble that. And what you see here is the marriage station. It's where the pack and the subframes get into the car. We have a very flexible AGV system, and it moves further on. It has some stations in chassis, then it moves on to final line, where it is completed with doors. Here we are in trim line. This is where everything begins, where we put the wire harness in, we put the air condition systems in. This is where the interior of the car starts to grow and to evolve. And here we are at the end of our tour. I hope you enjoyed it. Enjoyed it? I was blown away by it, Peter. It's a fantastic achievement, and it's so exciting because we're getting closer and closer to start of true production. These are just the pre-production cars, ironing out all the quality, and are you going to build an amazing high quality car here with all the team in Casa Grande. Big thanks to all in Lucid Manufacturing. And everyone, I hope you enjoyed this insight into our progress. And please come back when we're in production. Take care. So I'm really lucky that I've got the best job in the whole company. I'm a senior manager for vehicle integration. Being able to work on these cars on the cutting edge of technology is unlike any other company I've ever worked for. My department has been part of every major initiative from putting together the betas, the speed runs, even the smallest thing like putting together display stands for the stores. From fabricating to high voltage electrical to being trackside, I love it. Hard work is respected and I feel really respected here. We have access to the most amazing cars on the planet right now. To be able to say that I can drive these prototypes is amazing. Today is all about testing our beta and RC pre-production vehicles. We're checking wind noise, we're checking steering, braking, handling, road noise, drivetrain noise, just to check the overall refinement of the vehicle. And we're doing that against our current market benchmarks to make sure that we're making the kind of progress we need with the vehicle. It's nice to know where we rank against the competitor and give ourselves a really honest assessment of ourselves, particularly since we're this close to production, going for the platinum experience. When you are working through launch mode and you're looking at a million and one different items that need a little bit of tweaking or some are ready, some need a little bit more work, 
you sometimes lose the overview of where you actually are. So these ride and drives bring a great calibration because you drive the car with all your senses and you can feel how mature it is. Today was a really good day. There's some areas right now where we're really shining and things are looking really good and hopefully it's a benchmark for our benchmarks. And then there's some other areas where we still have some work to do. What really uh, kind of surprised me was just how quiet the cabin is. It is the quietest vehicle I've been in. There's no road noise. There's no sound of the passing traffic. I mean, it is like a vault in the vehicle, uh, which has been fantastic. The braking performance on the Lucid Air is terrific. A very linear, very controllable, very predictable. The steering on center field is perfect. The acceleration is mind blowing. Uh, it's just flattened your eyeballs. It's a real driving machine. And it's gonna do awesome on the Autobahn. I can't wait to drive it there. It's fast as hell.